Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com, setting the record straight about climate. Every 30 years, experts tell us that the Maldives are going to drown in 30 years. The Canberra Times reported in 1988, threat to islands, Maldives. Sea level is threatening to completely cover this Indian Ocean nation of 1,196 small islands within the next 30 years, according to authorities. But the end of the Maldives and its 200,000 people could come sooner if drinking water supplies dry up by 1992, as predicted. But have no fear, the Canberra Times offered up a solution. They said the Maldives could be saved by everyone simply accepting global governance. Canberra Times, January 26, 1989. Call for anti-greenhouse action. Governments must yield national sovereignty to multilateral authorities able to enforce laws across environmentally invisible frontiers if the greenhouse effect which threatens the future of whole nations is to be overcome. A Commonwealth expert group set up to look at climate change estimated there was 90% certainty that sea levels would rise between 1 and 4 meters by the year 2030. Wow, so experts are certain we're going to see 3 to 13 feet of sea level rise in the next decade. Apparently there's a reason why Nobel Physics Laureate Richard Feynman said, Science is the belief in the ignorance of the experts. And in 1995, the Canberra Times reported that the low-lying Maldives were already disappearing into the Indian Ocean. Back in the days when the UN used adults as their climate spokesperson, the president of the Maldives spoke to the UN in 1997. He said that the Maldives were going to drown unless the world cut back CO2 usage 20% by the year 2005. In 2009, the Maldives government held an underwater cabinet meeting in order to increase awareness of the threat of rising sea level to their country. Well, the Maldives didn't drown and now they're worried about something completely different. The locals are worried about the threat of tourism and investment money ruining their lifestyle. New York Times, March 26, 2017. Inhabitants of Maldives at all fear a flood of Saudi money. People are so worried about sea level rise there that you can now pick up a home on the beach for less than 11 million pounds. This beautiful new resort just opened up last week in the Maldives. And this is what the Maldives looks like this afternoon. It doesn't really look like the islands are underwater as the Canberra Times predicted they would be by now in 1988. But climate journalists are incapable of learning from their mistakes, and once again they're forecasting that the Maldives will be underwater in 30 years. The Independent says rising sea levels could make thousands of islands from the Maldives to Hawaii uninhabitable within decades. Apparently the qualifications for becoming a climate journalist are that you have to prove that you have no grounding in reality. Things are great in the Maldives now, but they weren't always like this. 85 years ago, conditions in the Maldives were pretty awful. This report from 1934 said that Maldives Islanders suffered intermittently from a horrible range of diseases. Tourists are warned against sleeping on the islands as they, even more than the natives, fall prey to strange complaints. Poor climate more than anything else has hindered the development of these islands. Only 217 of the 2,000 islands are habitable, and not all of these have good drinking water. And the article said that natives had to fight armies of rats. That sounds pretty awful. And if we go back to 1837, Maldives Islands actually were disappearing under the ocean. February 17, 1837, account of the Maldives. The natives observed the atolls to be wasting away. In some cases, the coconut trees are standing in the water. In another, the black soil of the island is discernible at low water 30 feet from the beach. The southeast side of one of the islands is entirely gone. Some islands have disappeared entirely. So Maldives islands were disappearing 200 years ago. It seems unlikely that reducing CO2 emissions could have prevented this. 30 years from now, the Maldives will still be there, and climate journalists will most likely be repeating the same nonsense which they said 30 years ago, and they're saying now. There don't appear to be any limits to this endless clown show of climate journalism. So we're just going to have to keep exposing the nonsense which these people are propagating. Visit Toto on the web at realclimatescience.com. He's been pulling back the curtain on junk science and propaganda for a long time.